Chicago, Illinois, USA. Welcome to Chicago! Today I'm giving myself a budget of $100 to see just what I can get. This is the most expensive apple you will ever find. Chicago is known as the Windy City and it's the third most populous city in the US behind New York and Los Angeles. Chicago's population is about 2.7 million, but when you add in the greater suburbs, it's nearly 10 million people. Today is not about splurging or being frugal, but finding the best, most optimum way to spend the day. So now let's get started. Started. I skip breakfast and walk around this area and head to this museum. It's called Winder Museum. This is designed for art and technology and the price to enter is $30 per person for a ticket. The museum starts with this room called Antibodies, which talks about how we're changing as a result of video calls and technology in general. This is kind of cool. This is actually exploring automation and the artist is kind of being sarcastic, like even painting and being an artist has now become automated. I go through a few other exhibits and then make my way into this black and white room. This is supposed to play with forced perspectives all because of the weird sizes and dimensions that they've built. The museum experience ends with this which was made by Yayoi Kusama. She's considered one of the most famous and iconic artists in the world. This is called the infinity room where you're allowed in only for 60 seconds to experience this immersive installation. Overall this was a really cool museum, highly recommended and I didn't know much about it. I actually just searched museums on Google Maps and this was the closest museum and I decided, hey, why not check it out? I liked how immersive it was. It was definitely a unique experience. Um, some of it had messages, some of it just seemed totally random, but overall uh, a really neat experience. But now I have to go find some lunch because I haven't eaten all day. Next, I walk through what's called Greek Town. You know you're in Greek Town when you see Greek writing on the Walgreens. Chicago has one of the largest Greek populations in the world, and this area was once home to much of its immigrant community. I head to this restaurant called Athena's, and they're playing Greek music and it has an overall nice vibe. I order a plate of spenakopita. This is spinach pie with feta cheese. Okay, they sell something like this at Costco too, but let me just say this is really homemade and fresh. Spenakopita, $10. Next I have chicken souvlaki. This is a Greek street food made out of marinated chicken with Mediterranean flavors. Souvlaki literally means meat on skewers. And the plate comes with pita bread and tzatziki sauce, which is a yogurt based spice with herbs. The price for that is $14. Now add the tax and tip, which is $6. All right, so I know what you're thinking. $30 is quite a lot for spanakopita and chicken, and it is for sure, but you could definitely tell the difference in quality, taste, even the ambiance and the atmosphere. Um, it was definitely on the uh, higher end for a Greek restaurant here, but absolutely, I would say it was worth it. Definitely really good food. Next, I walk for about 30 minutes. Yes, I know it's snowing. I arrive at Cloudgate, which is nicknamed The Bean. Yes, you've probably seen it. It's iconic in Chicago, and it's designed as a reflective surface that was inspired by liquid mercury. The shiny outside is meant to see the reflection of people moving around the park. This is Millennium Park which is a super nice park. They even have an ice skating rink, which I do consider doing, but I'm not sure I'm in the mood since it's been years since I've ice skated. The price of visiting the Bean, free. Across from this is what's called the Chicago Cultural Center. This place has a beautiful dome and it's where Chicago's mayor has hosted diplomats and presidents in the past. The price to enter is free. And while I'm here, they even have an art exhibit, which I walk around and take in. By now it's getting dark, so it's time for dinner. Chicago is super famous for its pizza, so I come to this place, it's called Pazano's Pizza. I sit at the bar and order a Pilsner beer on tap. The price is $6. Next, I get a house salad, which is pretty basic. The price is $4. And finally, I get a deep dish pizza with cheese, mushrooms, and onions. This kind of pizza was developed in Chicago, and it's famous because the pizza is baked in a high edge pan, which ultimately gives it plenty of room for large amounts of cheese and a chunky tomato sauce. The price of the pizza, which is considered an individual size, is $11. Now add up tax and tip to all of this, that's another $6. I usually just like thin crust pizza, but there is something about the Chicago deep dish pizza that is really good. You gotta try it. Even if you're not in Chicago, it's definitely worth trying. Finally, I end my day in Chicago by going to this dessert place called Kilwins. This is a Midwest chain that I've never heard of before. It seems like they make most of the desserts here in the store, and they have everything you can imagine, but the staff tells me that they're most famous for their fudge 
and for their caramel covered apple. So I take her word for it. I get a green apple dipped in caramel, dark chocolate, and sea salt. The price, $13. The contrast between the dark chocolate, the sea salt, the caramel, and the apple, really good. Is it worth $13? Probably not, but when in Chicago. Okay, I did it. I spent $100 in Chicago. I didn't break the bank, but I definitely didn't miss out on anything either, and I got to try some amazing food. Overall, this was a very fun and enjoyable day. I'm inclined to say I should have come in the, in the summertime, but at the same time, this had a lot of character. This had a lot of uniqueness. How many times do I get to experience snow? So if there's any city to be at when it's snowy, it's I think New York or Chicago. Of course it's cold, but again, that's part of the uniqueness and charm. Definitely not a cheap place. You can definitely tell with inflation on the rise in the US, you really feel prices going up at restaurants here in Chicago. Um, so it's kind of hard to be on a budget here in this city, um, but overall a really beautiful city, really unique. I'm super surprised with how clean this city is. You don't see any garbage, you don't see any mice. So thanks so much for watching my day here in Chicago. Check out other cities I've done from Buenos Aires in Argentina to Istanbul in Turkey. See how I've given myself a budget and how I spent the money. Let me know in the comments where should I go next and how much money should I give myself. While you're at it, guys, find me on TikTok and Instagram at Upton.